In one of my last video, I've asked you to tell me what kind of food I should talk about. And you have sent me a lot of famous Swiss dishes. We have only one problem now. Due to this coronavirus thing, all restaurants are closed and I'm basically forced at home. And no, don't ask me to cook. I don't want to die. But I've realized that at the supermarket there are actually a lot of already prepared Swiss dishes. That's why I picked five of these and every day this week I will try one of these dishes. Today is Monday, so we are ready for the first dish. Pasta Cinque P. That is supposed to be Italian, but honestly I've never heard of Pasta Cinque P when I was in Italy. The five P's are Pomodoro, Panna, Pepe, Prezzemolo, Parmigiano, which means tomato, cream, pepper, parsley, and Parmigiano cheese. So I have done a small research in internet to try to find out the origin of this Cinque P sauce, but only Swiss websites come up. So I'm pretty confident in saying that this thing is not an Italian recipe. Of course, if you are Italian and you have heard of this type of salsa before, let me know in the comment box below. And if you are Swiss and you know what is the origin of this recipe, where does it come from, let me know too. So, we're now ready to try the spaghetti cinque pi. The taste is actually quite good, the spaghetti are very nice cooked. The main taste that you can feel is the tomato sauce and the cream. I believe that there is a lot of cream, a bit too much for what I like, but overall I would say a 6 out of 10. Day 2 for lunch today we have Fleischkäse mit Kartoffelstock, which is basically Fleischkäse with mashed potato. There is no real way to translate Fleischkäse. If you see even in the package, uh, in the Italian translation, they write Fleischkäse. So there is not really a translation for it. I've asked Google what Fleischkäse really is. Fleischkäse has another name, which is Leberkäse. And it's something which is really popular in the German, Switzerland and Austria area. It's called Leberkäse or liver cheese in Germany and Austria because it's made with liver. And it's called Fleischkäse in Switzerland because it's not made with liver but with meat. It consists of corned beef, pork and bacon and is made by grinding the ingredients very finely and then baking it as a loaf in a bread pan until it has a crunchy brown crust. So it's something very typical of this area. It's not cheese at all, so I don't know why it's called Fleischkäse, so like meat cheese. At the beginning I was thinking this thing is like half cheese, half meat, but actually not, it's just meat. You see that the package this time is divided into two. We have here the mashed potatoes and here we have the meat with its own sauce. So if you see it's actually a very thick slice. It's always like this even if when you buy it at the supermarket it's always in a very thick slice. You can buy this flash case separately. Oh, I just burned my tongue.
Mm -mm. Not one of my favorite foods. The mashed potato is good. Overall, I would say a 5 out of 10, but only thanks to the mashed potatoes. I think I don't really like this dish because of the flesh case that is so thick. I normally like it when it's like slices, like ham slices to put inside a sandwich. There is very good. But when it's cut so thick, the taste is very strong. So I think that's why I do not particularly like this dish. But in general, I like flesh case. And if you're Italian, there is only one thing to do at the end. Scarpetta. Day number three. Today we have Bünne Spätzlifamme. Bünne means from Canton Graubünden, which is the most eastern canton in Switzerland. It's the canton of St. Moritz and which are two very famous cities in Switzerland. Spätzli Fanne. Fanne means hot. Spätzli, if you don't know what Spätzli is, you actually need to go and watch my second episode of Swiss Foods. I explain what Spätzli is. It's basically a kind of pasta made with eggs. And this is a very popular dish in Canton Graubünden. I haven't found many information on the origin or, or specifics of this food. Basically it's a spatly sour cream, a kind of bacon, it's like baked pork meat and there is also cheese inside so this dish is actually very heavy, I have the feeling. It's a lot of calories, it's like one package is 785 calories so I really need to do some sport tonight. The dish, Petli. Very good, but a lot of cheese. If it wasn't for my lactose intolerance, I would give this a 8 out of 10. It's actually very good. Today's day 4. I'm very excited because I'm eating one of the dishes that I think I will like the most. It's one of those things that still has sour cream in it. Like all the dishes that I've picked have sour cream with it. This is Pule geschnetzeltes am Ramsauce mit Knöpfli. Pule is the Swiss word for chicken. Of course, we have sour cream in it. Knöpfli is basically the same thing as Spätzli. The dough is the same, but Spätzli is more long, while Knöpfli is more round. That's because they are made in two different ways. They are cut in two different ways, but the dough is basically the same. Actually, I'm very excited about this one. This is divided in two, so we have the knopfli here, here is the chicken breast with the sauce. Here is the final dish and now let's try it. The chicken is very nice, the knopfli are actually good, I'm not really sure if I like the taste of the sauce, I don't have the feeling that this is a very heavy dish like I normally have when there is so much cream, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Day 5 and last day of my Swiss Betty Bossy prep meal, today we have Zürich Geschnetzeltes mit Nudel. You see from the first word, this is a typical dish from Zurich. Zürich Geschnetzeltes is translated sliced meat Zurich styles and it's a typical Swiss dish from Zurich. It was first mentioned in a cookbook in 1947 and it's basically sliced veal strip, white wine, cream, of course there is cream. How can there be a Swiss dish without cream? Mushrooms and then demi glace, which I've never heard of it, but apparently is a rich 
brown sauce. Normally it would be served with roshti. If you don't know what roshti is, you should really watch my second episode of Swiss food. But in this case, it is served with noodles. Again, it's separate. We have the pasta on one side, meat, mushrooms, and the sauce on the other side. Here is the final result. In the sauce, you can feel the white wine a lot. I feel I'm gonna get drunk with it. Overall, it's very good. I don't have the impression that they are heavy, even though there is so much sauce, so much cream, but the taste of white wine is really very, very strong, which is actually a particularity of this dish. Final score, I would give these a six out of 10. I'm not very fond of white wine. Mm. Mm. So, what have we learned from today's episode of Swiss dishes? First, that any Swiss dish is served with a sort of pasta, it can be noodle or spätzle or knuffli or potatoes in form of smashed potatoes or roasty. Second, it cannot be a Swiss dish if the food is not floating on a lot of cream and cheese. And third, that if not even a quarantine caused by a world pandemic made me wanna cook, then I'm really hopeless. That's it for today's episode. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!